can see we're coming up around this bin here and there is just bait and mullet and pogies and all kinds of stuff jumping around here, a lot going on. Got jacks busting right here, birds diving to our left. A lot of activity, hopefully there's a big bull red sitting down here on the bottom. So I seen some movement on the water and I slung my wedge tail mullet over there and started working it. After a couple jigs off the bottom, I got slammed by a big redfish. Got him. That's the one I was looking for. It's awesome being able to catch 20 to 40 pound redfish on a regular basis and Louisiana is one of the few places in the world that you can do that. Hey, hey, hey. I knew it was going to happen. Woo, Captain Lewis, look at that thing go. Oh man, we might need to follow him with the trolling motor. So my drag is pretty cranked. Oh son, did you see that fish there? I am, uh, I'm getting smoked. We might need to follow him with the trolling motor. <clears throat> There are so many important tools that you need when you're on the water to make a day come together to help you see the fish, catch the fish, land the fish. And one of the things that I always have on my face is my Wiley X sunglasses. Not only do they protect me from sinkers flying or hooks and things like that, but it helps me see the fish and spot the fish. And that's very important, especially when you're sight fishing or when you're inshore fishing and you're looking for a movement or, or a redfish in the water. And the water's not clear at all there in Louisiana. So the littlest flash or the littlest thing may be exactly what you need to know where to cast. And my Wiley X Air Rage sunglasses help me spot those fish and help me catch more fish. This one's coming in a little easier for sure. It didn't make that run the last one made. Ooh. Oh, there it is. That's a redfish. All right. That's what I was looking for. Spin the boat to the right. No, I won't even have to walk to the back. So one of my favorite things about catching redfish in Louisiana is just how big they are and how easily they eat. And so we got that fish coming in towards the boat and I'm fighting him and he has my rod doubled over and he's pulling out line and then I'm pulling line back in and it's just a constant battle with these big redfish. Look at that red, wow, Whew, what a beast. And again, that one was on the egret wedge tail mullet too. What a big red. And when I saw that redfish come out of the water, I realized that I had a really nice redfish on. It wasn't as big as the ones that Louisa was catching earlier, but it was still a good sized bull. Wait till you guys see this redfish. This is a beast. Big school right there. Look at all those reds. Did you see that? That was a bunch of reds that he just cut through. Whew. Well, they're in here. Found them, huh, Captain Lewis? <clears throat> Come on up here real quick. I wanna introduce you. This is Captain Lewis. Again, you guys have seen him a little bit earlier. He likes to hide from the camera, but this man can catch some fish. He's back there busy running the boat and the trolling motor. And uh, again, you told us earlier, but tell us again, what's the name of your website or how, how can people find you if they want to come out here and catch these big red fish? You can find us on the web at fishkillingcharters.com. Man, you want to kill some fish? This is the guy to go with. Look at that bull. Look at the head and shoulders on that thing. Oh man, we got this again on that egret beach wedge tail mullet. Been throwing it quite a bit today. It's been a tough day with the weather. We haven't been able to fish where we wanted to fish. We've been avoiding storms all afternoon. We found a, a little break in the weather where it's not raining. And uh, found a nice redfish. I'm gonna let you go ahead and get him in the boat if I can lead him to you. There he is. Look at that fish. <laughs> got him. I'm gonna show you guys what's right there in the front of his mouth. That's that egret wedge tail mullet. Knocked the paint off of it. Yeah, knocked the paint off of it pretty good. Actually, we caught quite a few fish on it today and it's finally starting to wear off on the front a little bit, bounce it off some rocks too, but these things are, you know, actually their, their motto is it's, they're tough as hell and they are. They are super tough lures. And another big bull redfish. First, one, first time I caught one before Louisa today. She's been out fishing me all day, but what a fish. Man, nice fish. good job, man. Thanks for putting us on the good fish, job. buddy. <laughs> We release every redfish that we catch here in Venice, Louisiana. We don't keep any redfish while we're fishing in shore here in Louisiana. We released all the redfish, all the trout, and the black drum. Man, what a fight. 
these things fight forever. Look at that fish. Look at the shoulders on that. Such gorgeous fish. One of the reasons I love Louisiana so much is you can catch these on a regular basis. And there he goes. Taking off. Whew, that was fun.